Today, I'm going to talk about HPV, the human papillomavirus. We now offer a simple test to determine if you have been exposed to this virus. Take a look. Could you imagine being 28 years old and dying from a cancer that you've never heard about? As a woman in my 20s, it's not something I think about every day. I know there's cancers out there, and I hear about them all the time, like lung cancer and skin cancer, which is why I don't smoke and I wear sunscreen. So I was completely shocked that there's a cancer out there that's on the rise, off the radar, goes completely unnoticed, and kills. Not only that, but this is something that can impact my life. It's called oral cancer, which is cancer that's found in the head, neck, and mouth. So oral cancer, like mouth cancer? Well, I guess obviously smoking and chewing tobacco can cause that. But did you know that HPV causes oral cancer too? I was talking to this girl the other night that brought this to my attention. She told me that last month her boyfriend died from oral cancer. He was only 28 years old. He never smoked, hardly ever drank, and took pretty good care of his body. Well, one day he complained about this pain that he had in his jawline. He went to the doctor three times before they referred him to a specialist. By that time, it had developed into a small cyst in his lower jaw that needed to be removed as soon as possible. In order to remove the cyst, they had to cut a large flap from the top of his ear all the way down to his neck. Still thinking about it makes me cringe. By the time they removed the tumor that they saw, the cancer had eventually spread throughout his entire body, and about a year later, it took his life. She's only left with his ashes and no answers. She wanted to know, what caused this? How can my boyfriend, who's 28 years old, never smoked, hardly ever drank, and took really good care of his body, die from this cancer that he never even knew about? Well, after searching for answers, she found out that HPV caused his cancer. HPV is short for human papillomavirus. There's over 120 different strains of HPV. Some cause warts, some cause cancer, some don't do anything at all. There's really not much we know about HPV. Are you sure that you're in the clear? Now's the time to listen. 75% of Americans would have developed HPV sometime in their lifetime. 75%. And currently, HPV doesn't even show up on standard STD tests. But no need to freak out just yet. Out of the 120 strains of HPV, there's only about nine that cause cancer. Those are contracted through intercourse, oral sex, and even French kissing. But just because you get a strain of HPV that's linked to cancer doesn't necessarily mean that you'll get cancer. Just like with any other virus, your body can naturally defend it. But really, there's no determining that. Overall, if you're sexually active, there's not much you can do to prevent yourself from HPV. The more sexual partners you have, the higher your risk of getting a cancer-causing strain of HPV. For those under 27, there are vaccines out in the market that might prevent you from ever getting these strains of HPV that cause cancer. Oral cancer takes the life of one person every hour of every day. It's ruthless. It doesn't judge you if you're male or female or the color of your skin. It's completely off the radar it goes unnoticed, and it kills. Now that we know that HPV causes oral cancer too, there's not much you can do to prevent yourself from getting it. What you can do is make sure that you ask your dentist for oral cancer screening. I'm telling you this because I want you to be aware. Now that you're aware, spread the knowledge so that we can reduce the death rate from this deadly disease.
The test is available in our hygiene department. If you have concerns about HPV, take the test the next time you're in. Looking forward to seeing you.